Hello, my name is Renee. I am an Assistant Director of Administration and Receivables in UVM Student Financial Services. This video is intended to answer a few frequently asked billing questions and provide some helpful tips to avoid receiving a late fee or hold. The billing statement issued to you reflects the activity on your account as of the bill date. Any subsequent activity, like new payments or charges that occur after the bill date, will be reflected on the account and billing activity page, which shows real-time activity. This page is available in proxy accounts and in the MyUVM student portal. Your billing statement might show a charge for UVM health insurance. If you have health insurance and do not need UVM health insurance, please complete the health insurance waiver form on the UVM Center for Health and Wellbeing website to have the charge removed from the account. The current activity section of your bill will show charges and payments from financial aid resources that have already paid to your account. This usually includes UVM aid like grants and scholarships. The pending section of your bill will show any financial aid resources that we are aware of and expecting to pay but have not paid to your account yet. We accept this as payment information towards your bill due even if it's not paid yet. The disbursement date for the fall semester is August 16th for many financial aid resources like the federal direct loans and federal grants. Provided all loan requirements like the entrance counseling and promissory notes have been completed, these items are scheduled to pay on August 16th. Outside scholarships or private education loans will pay when the money is received. However, as long as financial aid resources are listed as pending, we are counting it towards settlement of the bill. To notify us of a financial resource you are expecting to apply to your bill that is not listed in the pending aid section, like an outside scholarship or a private loan, please follow the instructions for your resource type on the additional resources section of the account and billing activity page or email us. You may also notify us of a requested 529 college savings plan distribution here. It is important to accept the aid in your financial aid award you plan to use prior to the due date of the bill, so it is reflected as pending payment. If this is your first time borrowing the federal student loans, you will also be required to complete entrance counseling and the master promissory note at studentaid.gov listed under the Loans and Grants menu. This website is also where parents can apply for the Federal Parent PLUS loan. If you have other financial resources, like outside scholarships, please email us a copy of the scholarship letter or award information to sfs at uvm.edu. Scholarship checks should be mailed to our office location, 223 Waterman Building, 85 South Prospect Street, Burlington, Vermont, 05405. To make a direct payment to the account, we recommend the online payment options. They are applied to the account immediately. We encourage the e-check payment method, which does not have a fee. This payment method requires your bank routing number and bank account number. The online credit card payment has a 2.85% card processing fee. Our bill due date, August 16th at 4.30 p.m., is a receive by deadline, not a postmark by deadline, so we encourage utilizing these online payment methods to avoid any unforeseen delay in the Postal Service. Having said that, you may need to mail a check to us. Please be sure the check has the student's name and ID number on it. For the fastest processing, please send personal checks and 529 check payments directly to our bank lockbox at UVM PO Box 1306, Williston, Vermont 05495. We have seen checks take 14 or more days to reach us. If mailing, please give your payment plenty of time to reach us. We also offer a monthly payment plan for a $60 enrollment fee. These plans begin on July 1st. If you have already set up the payment plan, you should see the first July payment credited to the account and billing activity page. The remaining, remaining payment plan amount will be listed under the pending section of the bill. It's not too late to set up a payment plan for beginning August 1st through November 1st. For more information on our payment plans, please visit the website shown on the screen. Our website has so much more information about billing, payment options, including international wire transfers, and more.
The website shown here is our new student orientation website, which has a whole section of other videos on various topics. Thank you again for your time. If you have additional questions that I did not answer and you're unable to find the answer on our website, please contact us. We are here to help.